We've seen Jojo Siwa go from bows and glitter to this current era she's in that not many know what to call. And over the last year, Jojo has found herself in a lot of drama from stories surrounding her relationships to just recently her and her mom getting called out for allegedly mistreating the members of the girl pop group that they created. And let me just say, those recent allegations about her and her mom, although they've denied them being true, have only worried those who have listened to some of the things that she's been saying recently. In past interviews during her bow era, Jojo described herself as someone who is friends with a lot of adults as she felt she was quite mature for her age, having been in the industry and having made a lot of business moves. She was seen as a role model for young kids and was the face of Nickelodeon at one point. But in more recent times, she's taken off the bow and shown a whole new side of her that people are a little concerned to see. Though it seems like Jojo is just growing up and probably just finding herself like any young adult is, the public seems to be questioning a lot of things going on with her, mostly because she's talking about throwing some kids into the mix of her life. I think a lot of people would really just let Jojo be if she didn't say things that absolutely shocked people, but because she has been quite open about her future plans and how she's also been very vocal about how she feels about the Colleen situation, in result of all that, people have just had a lot to say about the changes that they've seen in Jojo, wondering who she even is and how this all came to be. Not too long ago, I talked about the fact that people were shocked to hear that Jojo was talking about how in the next couple of years, she wants to start having kids. One of the biggest things for me right now that I'm looking for in a relationship is somebody who is ready for kids. I am not ready, but I'm very near ready. And I think that within the next three, say three, four, I wish I could say two, three, but I still feel like I will be a little young in two years. But I say three, four, because I feel like that's like pregnant in three, babies in four. You know what I mean? And that is something that I care very, very much about. People were mainly shocked because she had just recently moved out away from her parents for the first time and had just talked about how hard adulting really is. In the last like four or five days, I've learned so much about leases and renter's insurance and utilities and it's, it's crazy. Being an adult's whack. Like, I, I mean, I guess I've like, I've been an adult, you know what I mean? But like, I don't know, it's just, there's, there's so much to it. Don't grow up. So to hear her talk about throwing some kids into the mix, when she just found out how adulting works was a lot for the public to process. Things only got a little crazier when Jojo was later interviewed by Access Hollywood, where they talked about her wanting to have kids, and she said that she already had her baby names tattooed on her and that she already had a sperm donor picked out. You've already named your children? Fully, fully. <laughs> really? I, have, I actually have two tattoos dedicated to them. Um, this one's dedicated to my baby girl one day. Her name is uh, Freddie. Then this is dedicated twin boys, Eddie and Teddy. Um, Freddie, Eddie, and Teddy. Freddie, Eddie, and Teddy. I got, I want awesome. three babies. I have my sperm donor lined up. Um, he, Wait, where's the sperm you donor? You already got it lined up? It's Although JoJo talks about being super excited to start this next chapter for herself, the public is begging her to just hold off and be a young adult while she still has the ability to do so, exploring what she wants and finding who she is before she throws some babies in the mix. But she certainly seems more than ready to get things going ASAP. Now, when it comes to the tattoos on her arm, I'm pretty sure these have got to be temporary tattoos and that she doesn't have a sleeve all of a sudden because she really did just like all of a sudden one day post that she had a sleeve. And I think it's all just something that she's trying to do as a part of this new look that she's going for but people are definitely like jojo slow down this is crazy and are really trying to tell her that as mature she might think that she is because she's had all these life experiences because she was a child star and she's you know done a lot of things and been friends with adults that having kids doesn't need to be like the next step and not too long ago i talked about how trisha paytas was even calling out jojo for the fact that she said she was ready to have kids completely disagreeing based on who Jojo has chosen to align herself with. Jojo Siwa is out there too saying she's ready for kids. I was like, okay, she's supporting James, supporting Colleen, ready for kids. I'm like, maybe pump, I never say pump the brakes on kids, but I'm like, if you're supporting these people right now, maybe just pump the brakes on kids if you don't see really what the issue is, you know yeah. what I mean? She also felt like there's been so much that Jojo has not dealt with as a child star, and especially with the recent allegations of her mom and her allegedly mistreating the members of their girl group called XOMG Pop. It's even more of a reason why Trisha has spoken out about Jojo feeling like she is just continuing the cycle of what happened to her as a kid, possibly being hard on these girls because she doesn't 
doesn't know any different than that because we've seen her mom be a dance mom and we've seen how Abby Lee treated her and the fact that she is still on really good terms with Abby despite how all the other dance moms girls feel towards Abby the fact that Jojo is still friendly with her definitely makes sense with the way that there are allegations about Jojo and her mom being just as hard as Abby to their girl group because it just comes across as her not knowing right from wrong and how to treat others which is something that Trisha had talked about she just didn't develop like her brain like you know what I mean like in that way where you don't know the difference between right and wrong when it comes to children and adult relationships so I think she just doesn't know and she's so vocal and outspoken and it's like I feel for her because I definitely think she is not making her the victim but I feel like she's definitely been in situations where it's like inappropriate and so she didn't fully get to like develop right and wrong yet I'm just having to think back when I was in my early 20s and I was like, hey, maybe it's the same situation where she's like, oh, it was okay because I'm fine and I turned out great. Me and Colleen were friends at 13 and we're okay. We're fine. I love her. Uh, so I don't know. I'm kind of give her grace there, but it is kind of just a lot, especially when she has like young fans and stuff like yeah. that. It's just like, whoo like just promoting the wrong people and it just had a lot of other people like no jojo we we're not ready for kids we're not ready for kids babe but if there's one thing about jojo that's been made clear it's that she does not seem to care what people say about her or her friends for that matter as she's been extremely outspoken in the past and the things people have been saying about her and how they've reacted to this new aesthetic change that she's been making she does not seem to care jojo has gotten the attention of many on tiktok lately and this one tiktok started going viral of her this week as people were like who even is this finding jojo unrecognizable from her former self i got a question if you could have one heaven phone call this is a random heaven phone call okay nothing nothing too serious if it was serious i'd call grandma grandpa uncle i never got to meet someone like that unserious heaven phone call who are you calling personally i'm calling the people in the titanic submarine the situation the submersible that whole thing i'm calling them my friend said she would call John Benet Ramsey. I feel like that's a pretty good one. Who, who are you calling? What are we, what are we asking? Give me, give me, give me your take on this. Tons of people stitched the video showing their reaction to this, knew her, and it was quite dramatic, kind of mean, but people were just, well, they were shook. I got a question. If you could have one heaven phone call, this is a random heaven. Jojo? What happened to Jojo Bobo? <laughs> no, seriously, what the f Jojo, why does it look like you work at a pawn shop? No, because that's Dog the Bounty Hunter. That's Dwayne Trapman. Tell me it's not given, Dwayne. Who is that? Stop! Right there. Don't come any closer. Get away. People had commented on the TikTok saying JoJo's trying to be G Flip, who is an Australian musician currently married to Chriselle from Selling Sunset. Or people have been saying that she's trying to be like Billy Ray Cyrus or something, which JoJo actually ended up responding to comments about this, saying she wasn't taking this in a negative way. The fact that this has 100,000 likes, but also that someone thinks it's an insult, Oh me, that would mean that I'm Miley Cyrus's dad. I'll take it. Now it does seem like Jojo is about to unlock this new era of hers even more as she's changed her whole vibe on Instagram. And at first I thought she was actually hacked or something, but it's not the case. She's actually posted all this stuff. She changed her profile picture to this image of her with her middle fingers up, totally shedding any child audience she probably had left. She did include bows in her bio, which is an interesting touch. As we know, this was a huge part of her image at one point, but I kind of wonder if this new era will be about her saying goodbye to her former self and that's why she's including the bows in her bio and the other photos seem to be how they are. I don't know, but she posted on her story, go read at Jojo Siwa. And if you read the caption of the post that she had shared, they say, see you in one month. Remember, karma's a B. So there's a lot going on here and people don't know how to feel. She also posted the same photos and captions on TikTok and also added, it was a matter of time. So who knows what this all means and what will happen. It kind of looks like maybe rehearsals for a music video. I mean, I assume this is all for a song or an album that she's about to drop. I guess we'll just have to wait and see in a month. But that is what Jojo has been sharing on social media recently and what some people have had to say about it all because it's certainly been interesting interesting. Let me know all of your thoughts. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.